In this video, I'm going to talk about the new album by Robin Trower. The album is called No More Worlds to Conquer. It was released on April 29th, 2022. So in this video, I'll talk a little about the guitarist and the band, and I'll give my uh, thoughts on the, you know, the songs and everything like that. Robin Trower, so it's an English uh, rock guitarist and vocalist. He played with uh, Procol Hiram from 1967 to 71. Then he started a power trio called the Robin Trower Band. So I became interested in Robin Trower when I heard the title track from his 1974 album, Bridge of Sighs. It was uh, like a very intriguing uh, for me. It was blues rock, but also like a little heavy, a little psychedelic. Kind of reminded me of like Jethro Tull, but it was a little different. I kind of thought it was like the unique uh, guitar playing style he has. His sound reminded me a little of like Jimi Hendrix and maybe because he uses like this Fender Stratocaster. So he played in the standard tuning for his first album, but then he used like the half step down tuning, which uh, Jimi Hendrix used. So apparently he uses the full step down when he plays live. He has a very like distinct guitar tone. You know, when you hear it, like you know it's him. It's like a mixture of light distortion and the wah wah. So the first song is called Ball of Fire. You know, the first thing I recognize is that guitar tone. Like I said, it reminds me of Jimi Hendrix. Robin plays lots of like bluesy guitar licks on the song. The song itself is a very catchy song, has smooth vocals, a really nice beat. We really like how the guitar riffs are like very memorable in the song. You hear the Hendrix influence in the next song, like the title track. It reminded me of like the intro to like Little Wing. You can hear lots of like bluesy solos on the song, and I really like the guitar tone. It uses some echo effects in that classic like Robin Trower tone. Deadly Kiss, this one has a psychedelic rock sound mixed with 70s style funk. The song is laid back, has a nice groove to it. It has a slower pace, falsetto vocals. The song is slower paced and it has some cool like echo effects in like the guitar chords. Bird Song is a bluesy song with lots of guitar licks. The song is very mellow, has a cool guitar tone. The song is a good example of the band playing in a slower and more minimalistic style, contrasting with their harder rockers. Losing You is kind of a harder rocker again. Has a cool guitar tone, a nice slide guitar riff. Song has some metal parts as well as some Hendrix inspired guitar playing. It's a short song under three minutes, but has a nice solid drum beat and a blues inspired song lyrics. I really like the emotional and soulful guitar solo on this song. Waiting for the Rain to Fall is a laid back blues rocker, kind of moves at a mid pace. As with most of the songs, it has Robin's uh, bluesy guitar licks. Wither on the Vine, it's a slow bluesy song. It has lots of emotional guitar playing. It has some of the jazzy styles of like Jimi Hendrix played in like a very laid back style. The song is very mellow and a nice one to listen to when you just need to like take a break and relax. Cloud Across the Sun, it's a harder rocker. The intro reminded me of like Jimi Hendrix, Crosstown Traffic. It has more of a hard rock style mixed with elements of jazz. Also some like falsetto vocals in the mix. You hear a few like wah-wah guitar feels in the song as well. Fire to Ashes, a slow bluesy song. Another song to listen to when you just need to like sit back and relax. The lyrics are the standard like blues style, you know, like most of the other songs. There are a lot of interesting guitar licks and solos. The Razor's Edge has a great guitar intro. Like I have been saying, it reminds me of Jimi Hendrix, but the song itself is very good. It's one of the more melodic ones with some memorable vocals. I enjoyed the guitar solo on this song very well and it was pretty cool. I Will Always Be Your Shelter, it's a slow ballad and a love song. So Robin Trower plays his signature guitar licks on this one. So in conclusion, this is a guitar lover's type of album. The songs have the usual structure of typical rock and blues songs, but you can't really help to focus on the guitar playing. It's not hard rock or heavy metal, it's blues rock and, and mixes a little bit of like Hendrix with Eric Clapton. I think it's a good album, it's very laid back. It's a cool album to listen to when you are like looking for something, you know, relaxing. And I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. Let me know in the comments what you thought. So coming up next, I will be doing a Ramstein collaboration video with A Chill Dude on the Couch. But that will be on Monday night. And I will also have a review, a review for the new uh, Ted Nugent album. So that is all. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.